Hello Pisces, this is your reading for the 15th through the 31st. I hope all is well with you guys. I have been on a hiatus and I'm um, just trying to get myself together, get things in order and um, yeah, so that is what I've been up to. Let's see what's going on with you guys. The Celtic Cross. See what's going on with my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for July 15th through July 31st, guys. All right. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, that would be great. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Definitely something that you guys are feeling like you need to accomplish on your own, I feel. Um, this is all about a wish fulfillment. Something that you're wanting on an emotional level here. And that is definitely a Piscean card. You got cards slipping over here. Um, wanting some fortune. Whether it's in love, whether it's in money, uh, relationships, whether it's familiar. There's something that you want that you feel at this point is going to make you happy okay and with this I'm getting that there is an exclusion of something else what that is only you guys know okay so if you feel like you have been unlucky in an area um, and maybe more um, more on track in other areas I'm feeling like some of you guys are focusing on those areas where you feel like okay this is where I probably need to steer um, because something has not been working for you okay what's going on around my Pisces what's going on around my Pisces seven of swords hmm. um, this is Aquarian energy and this is all about doing something for yourself not really concerned about how somebody else feels about it okay um, this is not always a bad card but we will see as the reading progresses but this is all all about trying to get to a certain point um, mentally because something is not right you feel currently okay Let's see what's crossing you. What's crossing Pisces? Page of Pentacles. Actually stepping out and doing whatever it is you feel like you need to be doing at this point. Learning about it. Studying it. Researching it. Actually taking the initiative to really put into play the, the plans that you feel like are going to benefit you in the long run. I'm getting that um, for a lot of you it is something financial, it's something that um, affects your livelihood, okay? The underlying issue for Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. Investing your time, your money, your energy, your effort. I feel though that the issue here is that you guys have spent a lot of time um, putting yourself forward in situations that were not beneficial for you. It's time to do what's best for you. We have another seven here. It's time to do what's best for you. And again, strongly, um, there is a financial aspect in this situation. We have Capricorn, uh, Taurus energy, I feel, in the recent past. Please show me the recent past for Pisces. Six of Swords. I feel that a lot of you have tried to work something out with um, an individual. Aquarius, uh, more than likely for a lot of you, uh, could also be a Gemini, but it's not um, 
it's not written in stone that it has to be an ear energy it's just the energy that's present okay but I feel like a lot of you have tried to work things out with someone and it's like you let this person or you allow this person to take you down a certain pathway that you felt like wasn't beneficial in the long run. So now I feel that a lot of you guys are at a point where you're like, you know what, you know, I gave it a chance. It didn't work out. Um, it's time for me to do my thing. It's time for me to go out on my own and do what's best for me. Over. What's on your brain right now? The Empress. Doing your thing. Starting over. Having growth. Being every woman or being every man. Getting yourself to self together. That is what this is. That is what you're thinking about. It's time to do you. Taurus energy here. It's time to do you. And I feel like you're kind of reflecting on a situation with um, strong Taurus Aquarius energy here. You're reflecting on a situation from the past and you're like, you know what? It is what it is. Um, I allowed myself to be sucked in, pulled into a situation, but uh, I'm over that. I'm done with that. No more. What's coming in for Pisces? Two of Wands. You're really going to have to... You know what it is that you want to do. You're just going to have to do it. I feel a lot of you are biding time. Um, and what I mean by that is like... You know exactly what you should be doing, um, but don't really have the full gumption to make it happen. Mm -hmm. There's a choice here. I feel that somebody's still in your ear. I feel that somebody is steady whispering sweet nothings to you. But what I'm getting here is that um, there's something in your gut that's telling you that you know better. You know better that you will not fall for the okie doke again. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to decide and do it. You know what it is that you need to do, what you want to do. It's just a matter of doing it. How is Pisces feeling about this situation? Look at this. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. You want to start over? You feel like there's an opportunity that's presenting itself. I feel like at this point, a lot of you are feeling strong enough to walk away and start something new. But there's something about this individual that pulls you back in. And I feel like it's more of an attraction, like a physical attraction. Um that pulled you back into this person because there's something in your in your mind that's telling you mm, no this is no good no good and this is a no go but you really want this new start you see it you feel it what is the influence for Pisces for the remainder of the month the influence for Pisces yeah the high priestess you feel it you know it your intuition is telling you, is pulling you. Listen, listen to your intuition. That's the best advice I can give you. If there's something nagging at you and you feel like it's not right, then nine times out of ten it's not right. If there's an opportunity that is presenting itself, listen to your intuition, guys, okay? That's the best advice I can give you. Let's see. Not like you were asking for it, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> you want something that is more than just fleeting, that is more than just fly by night. You want something solid, something grounded, something stable, something you can hang your hat on. Okay. I need to coin that phrase. <laughs> Although I can't. Yeah. 
You want to build a legacy for yourself. You want somebody that's going to work just as hard for you as you work for them. Work as hard with you. That is what your hope is. You guys are aspiring for um, something higher than what you have been dealt or that you've been involved in. Virgo energy there. What is the outcome for Pisces? Five of Pentacles. I feel like this Five of Pentacles, yes, feeling hurt and rejected in some aspect, okay? But being that you're reading, for a lot of you, seems to be leading in a financial direction, I feel that there was a situation with a person where maybe this person's, you counted on this person's income, you counted on this person's support, and there is something in you that was a little, like, scared to let go completely for that reason but I feel you guys stepping out on faith here because at the end of the day you see there's two people in this five of pentacles they don't have much but guess what they're braving it together they're braving it together and I see that's what you're doing I see that's what you're doing so you're halfway there you're halfway there. For sure. I'm looking at the cards. I see you struggling a little bit. For some of you. Financially, I feel like the finances are going to be strained for a little while until you um, really get a solid footing. But it's okay if you have a plan here. Because I see that you do have a plan here. I see that you do. You want better. You want to start over. But I also see you thinking about like what am I gonna do I don't want to be alone I don't want to do this on my own but sometimes you have to it's like either you're gonna sacrifice your happiness and your emotional happiness and your your mental stability for financial stability with somebody that is not necessarily treating you right or you step out on faith you use your intuition you step out on faith yeah you may be down for a little bit you may struggle a little bit financially you may strong Taurus um, earth energy in your reading in Aquarius as well I feel um, that hurts you and I feel like this person was holding something over your head has been holding something over your head and I feel like you know this is all about the financial stability that they provided that has you know lured you back in time and time again but anyway I can go on forever and ever and ever and um, so that is your, your reading for July 15th through the 31st and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now